So today we have the first of a three-part series that I'm going to do that's actually a user-requested series. So if you're interested in me going over something uh, that you would like to hear me talk about, always comment uh, down below and I'll take a look at that. So first, let's just get right into it. Today we're going to go over the top five trading books that I think every new trader or struggling trader, or even if you haven't read these, you should definitely check them out. So the first one is from someone that I will consider, that I consider a friend, and that's Brian Shannon. This book, Technical Analysis Using Multiple Time Frames, is a great one to learn the basics of trend structure, to learn how to identify if a stock's in an uptrend or a downtrend, when to be involved in the trend, when to sit out of a market. All of these things are really huge when it comes to understanding when to trade, when not to trade, and also for new traders to make sure that you are on the right side of the market. I see so many traders out there trying to fade markets to begin with, and really uh, identifying a trend and sticking with that trend is going to be your best bet. Next here is Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. This is just a, a fantastic book. It uh, goes into a little woo-woo-ness, I guess, in the middle or so. Uh, however, just amazing when it comes to mindset. And everything in trading is mindset related in some way, shape, or form. So this is something that if you find yourself undisciplined in your trading, if you want a little bit of help on how to reframe your mindset so that you're thinking in probabilities, that you're understanding that anything can happen in the markets, uh, and that you're sticking to your plan. This one is just absolutely fantastic for that. Again, a must read for everyone. This one is out in audio book format. I'm an audio book guy, so I'm going to point out the ones that are in audio book format. Some of them with charts obviously wouldn't make too much sense, but uh, this one is in audio book format, so you can check that out. Next is The Playbook by Mike Belfiore. This is not in audio format. However, this is a fantastic book and a fantastic read where essentially it's teaching you how to build your own playbook of trade so you can transform those into a trading plan. So I mentor traders one-on-one. -on -one. If you're interested in that, links are in the description below. Most traders that I find struggle and are having issues with trading as a whole, they actually, it's because they don't know what to trade, right? They're, they're looking for I need to figure out what to buy. I need to figure out what to sell. I, I, I have no idea what my setup is, what my idea is. And what this does is gives you a pretty simple exercise that doesn't take very long that over time will point you in the right, right direction, showing you what trades resonate the most with you, what trades you understand the most, and then kind of push you along to uh, help build this. Again, anyone who's mentored with me knows I suggest this exercise as part of the first thing that you do in order to get started trading. So again, this one's great, not so much from this is how you trade, but this is how you build a trading plan, which again is is hugely important. The difference between all winning traders and all losing traders that I've ever met has been, do you have a trading plan? Do you follow it? If you have a trading plan and follow it, you're usually successful. If you either don't have a plan or don't follow it, that's where struggle is created. Next, and this one's, I guess, a Bible for traders, is Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Jesse Livermore. I've heard it's a hodgepodge of different people and different stories written into one. One of those things that it's so old that it's hard to perfectly match out what actually kind of has occurred. Uh, but this one is great when it comes to noticing that Although the market has changed dramatically and forever and will always change based off technology and different trends and different things being in favor and, and regulations and rules, that really nothing has changed. So this is about a basically a trader's journey and, and a trader's journey in, you know, I believe the the 50s or before. So way before any technology, basically. And it, it's a lot about his trials and tribulations and what he's learned along the way. And a lot of those are things that you can take a look at yourself. 
uh, where you can learn and, and grow when it comes to looking at how this person works and just saying, hey, you know, the, these issues that this trader had are the same issues that I have. And he came over them probably in the same way uh, that I would. So again, this one's an absolute must read. And last but not least, again, these are in no particular order, is Market Wizards, all of them. So there's four or five. Um, I'm sorry, Jack, Jack by Jack Schwager. I'm, I'm sorry if I really got that number wrong. The Unknown Market Wizards is the most recent one. All of them are in audio format as well. What I want you, if you're going to read these books, what I want you to understand and to learn when you read them is that essentially they're not teaching you how to trade or anything like that, but they're interviews with other prominent and successful traders. I want you to go through and I want you to read all of these different ways that traders make sense of the market, that traders develop their trading strategy, how they have found their success, and look for similarities because that's going to be the biggest tell. And for me, when I went through the series... Uh, slowly over time, I've been kind of reading these books as they came out for years. It's always fascinating to read that everybody has their own completely different way to approach the market and to trade. But some commonalities are always there, right? Things like risk management, right? Asymmetric risk reward, monitoring your trades, journaling your trades, narrowing in on things that work for you are common in, in all of these interviews. So as you go through, that's what I want you to pay attention to is, what is this next interview going to tell me that's the same as the other interviews as well, right? So again, this one, most of these are not how to trade because I don't believe that anyone can write a book and say this is how you trade and that's something that that, that works. What they are is guides and, and ways to get started in your learning. So, you know, if you are a pro at technical analysis already, but you still struggle as a trader, well, you may want to look at the more psychological driven type books, market wizards, trading in the zone, things like that. If you're brand new, I would just buy all of these books on audiobooks or however you can get them and just go through them all. These are the kind of books that I wish when I had started out, someone sat me down and made me read in the trading department. So now we're going to talk about the next two in this series that will come out in subsequent weeks. One of them is going to be my favorite psychology books because I think trading psychology is everything. If you have your trading psychology on point, things are going to be way easier for you. If you have bad psychology in which you're uh, revenge trading, you're over trading, you're ignoring stop losses, things like that, your strategy could be amazing and you're still going to get killed. So um, we're going to go over psychology. And then the last part is we're going to go over productivity and books that I use that help with productivity. And I'm going to talk about how specifically to use them in trading as opposed to use them kind of anywhere else that you see. So again, if you're new here, uh, links are in the description for everything. Uh, the softwares I use, my website, how to get a hold of me, all of this is in the description below. And again, this video series was just requested by someone in one of my live streams that said, hey, I think this would be a good thing for you to take a look at. And I agreed. So here it is. So if you want me to make a video series about something that you think is going to be advantageous to you, that's going to help you out in some way, just comment down below. I'll take a look at all the comments and we'll take a look at whatever works.